Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by Mineral Explorer Impact Minerals, ASX code IPT. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of Impact Minerals, Mike Jones. Hi, Mike. Hi, Matt. Great to be here. Okay, so Impact Minerals currently has a suite of exploration projects that cover gold, silver, lead, zinc, copper, nickel and platinum. Its flagship project, however, is the Lake Hope High Purity Alumina project to the southwest of Norseman that Impact has the right to earn up to 80% of. And in what amounts to a major milestone for Impact Minerals, the company recently tabled a solid maiden HPA resource at Lake Hope. Their management is now busy working on the financial metrics of mining it. Okay, Mike, hit me with the numbers. What's the maiden high purity alumina resource at your Lake Hope project? Project west of Norseman. Matt, it is three and a half million tonnes at 25% alumina, which is pretty high grade globally, and 90% of that is in what we call the indicator category, which means we're very confident that it's there and it's real, and that means that it contains about 880,000 tonnes of alumina, and we believe that we can convert much of that into high purity alumina. Yeah, well, let's talk purity, because I know the market typically wants 99.99% purity when talking HPA. Can you get to those levels? Yes, we can. We've shown it in the laboratory and we're currently in a pre-feasibility study to show that we can scale it up to commercial tonnages. So copper sells for about, I think, US 8,500 a tonne at the moment and nickel goes for about 22,000. How much does high purity alumina sell for and what is it typically used for? Well, it's right up there in uh, the value with nickel, so uh, anything between 15 and 25,000 US dollars a tonne. And there are three main uses. It occurs in the separators in a lithium-ion battery. It stops them exploding. For those of you who remember the Samsung phones blowing up a few years ago, that's what HPA does, stops that happening. It's also used in LEDs and micro-LEDs, so most TV screens now are having HPA inside them. And similarly, if you look at your phone, every sapphire glass has also got HPA there on the front of the screen. So, uh, and those markets are growing rapidly at sort of 20 to 30% a year right now. Now, I've heard you describe the Lake Hope HPA resource as unique. What's special about it? Well, in the top two metres of the lake, which is where all that lumina is, uh, there's a significant amount of contained metal there, and it's free digging. That means that basically we can turn up uh, with a digger and two trucks and ship it off site. There's no stripping, we don't, there's no waste, we don't need any water, we don't need any power. So we're going to be able to build our plant off-site in somewhere like Kalgoorlie or Perth and that entire process is going to be much easier to permit uh, from an environmental perspective and we believe that as a result we can be on the fast track to production. Very quickly, when are you likely to wrap some financial metrics around the project? We're looking to release our initial scoping study in July and at that point people will see the tremendous value that's locked up in Lake Hope. Mike Jones from Impact Minerals, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears and remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should of course seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company interviews, go to the Money page on the 6PR, 2GB, 3AW and 4BC websites and click the Public Companies tab.